in lesson four, we look at when the Poisson distribution can be used as an approximation to the binomial distribution. So for a binomial, we know its mean is found by doing NP and the variance of a binomial is NP times one minus P. So we'll start by just reminding ourselves of uh, an example of that calculation. So here um, we've got a five-sided spinner spun 20 times and X represents the number of fives obtained. So we've got a binomial, N is 20, P is 0 0.2, uh, and we've been asked to work out the mean and the variance. So expected value mean is equal to N times P, 20 times 0 0.2, which is four. The variance of X is NP times one minus P. So 20 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.8, 3.2. And then we've just been asked to work out a probability for that binomial that X is less than the mean take away the standard deviation. Remember for the standard deviation, it's the square root of the variance, subtract it away from the mean. And then uh, we've got our probability that X needs to be less than 2.21. From our calculator, that gives us a probability of 0 0.02061. Okay, for a discrete information, that's equivalent to x being less than or equal to 2. So like example 1, example 2 just again focuses on this um, expectation and variance of a binomial distribution. And again, uh, a question relying on the use of the formulas expected value of x is equal to np the variance of x is equal to np times 1 minus p for a binomial in this example um n and p are unknown but we know um that np is 4.8 and np times 1 minus p is 2.88 so we've got a pair of simultaneous equations that we can then solve uh, to work out p and hence work out n so first section of lesson four is really just a reminder of the expectation and the variance formulas that we use uh, for a binomial distribution. OK, um, and that would, uh, we're now going to build on that for the Poisson approximation in the next couple of examples.